Hello everybody, today we are playing Astroneer, one of the most beautiful game, uh, survival game uh, in space. So we can start a new adventure or a new creative mode, but today we are gonna uh, do a new adventure game. So in this episode we are gonna, uh, gonna try uh, to build uh, our smelting furnace, the, I think is the most easy one, and soil centrifuge and some other stuff we are gonna try to tidy up the, uh, our uh, initial base and of course we're gonna try to survive so we can we can start with a new game uh, in uh, okay if you are uh, you never seen this game as you can see I am blocked almost everything uh, the only thing that I missed is this one but this one is as you can see is exo dynamic solar system master trophy so if you're gonna finish 100% uh, the game they're gonna give you this special palette there are some few suits that you can you can choose but I finished the game even the, the update so I am blocked almost everything uh, I'm missing some emotes uh, because yeah uh, for example this one I have to dance on uh, on every planet basically anyway I'm gonna choose uh, the Wonder Suit and yeah, I think Astro Recruit. Even the the visor is the new one. Is Orbital. Okay, so and we can start a new game. Start a new game. Yes. This is not a bad area. Of course, this one is a really random, uh, random location of Silva. So uh, every time that you starting a new game, uh, you're gonna have uh, your uh, main base in a random place in uh, on the planet. And each time uh, you starting a new game is uh, is placing even the resources in different places. I mean, it's kind of uh, no man's sky, but in a different way. So if we're gonna leave our dropship, we're gonna have our first. Oh man! <laughs> okay. Okay. So we have our first base. Uh, I got. This base got a really small RTG. It's giving you a bit of power, but not oxygenator. So we can use this one to deploy startup package. And here we have oxygenator that we can put on in place here. Oh, oh man. Okay. Oh. Control with PS4 are not easy. Come on, man. Okay. And now we have oxygen for our tethers. And this one is medium printer and a medium platform. Uh, then we can put somewhere here. Uh, like maybe behind like that like and oh okay okay now we have to attach to our base to have a bit of power 
as you can see here now is yellow doesn't mean that this platform is fully powered from the our shelter and we can take our medium printer from here and medium printer is two slots the communicative one so we can use this one here and the first thing to do is to find um, to check what we need to make tethers at least oxygen filters because we have a really a small amount of oxygen when we're going around so we can die really easily as you can see it's going down pretty fast but with oxygen filters it is not bad I mean you can go around you can leave your base for a while and even if you're going around uh, you are a bit lost and you cannot find your uh, uh, your base you can find a um, raising and you can make oxygen filter and you can survive this game uh, is just about um, filters and oxygen basically um, there is no food no nothing so it's just about oxygen so now is a bit oh, down the mountain is is horrible anyway <coughs> sorry okay I can see down there we have a um, exodynamic help uh, if we go in there we can see what we need to unblock it so inside of these pods we can find our um, research items that are gonna help us to gain bytes if you open your console you can see that we have zero bytes and the rate uh, per minute of bytes I'm gonna explain you later on when we're gonna build a research chamber anyway at the beginning of the game I don't wanna die okay uh, at the beginning of the game we have something already unblocked that usually yeah it's just just the stuff so tethers oxygen filters small canister a small generator beacon uh, and work light really useful for uh, um, for the caves when you go into the caves so but actually we are not really lucky because we have a forest here a mountain here so usually on mountain you can find mal malachite the you can smelt it uh, anyway i'm gonna show you later on when we're gonna need it so the first thing to do uh we have to build our small canister because our terrain tool is working in three uh, mode one is to dig is this one the other one is to flat and the other one is to add soil so but without canister as you can see we cannot do anything we can just dig but with the canister we're gonna collect soil and we can uh, oh look here we have a uh, raisin okay so just to explain that <coughs> uh, I remember when I started my first time this game I had to use the the tool that anyway um, the developers gave us to understand how is working this game. So we have a, a small astrobedia, and basically we can um, we have basics, interactions, terrain tool that is explaining you. Um, everything about the terrain tool how to equip how to add soil or dig uh, or uh, flatten the, um, the surfaces and inventory and you have everything basically 
So the first thing to do is to find our first resources. Even because we have to print our small printer that this requires compound. So anyway, we can start to dig a bit around here to collect some resin. Of course, if you wanna exhaust one deposit of something, just take everything and don't live like that because anyway you don't know which kind of resources is down there. Of course the terrain tool gonna let you know if if you're digging you can find more of these resources and every resource got a um, specific we dying every resource uh, got a specific symbol so raising uh, on this planet you can find um, raising quartz uh, spherelite uh, graphite compound uh, clay ammonium and malachite oh, okay organic organic is everything from um, from grass or plantation or whatever just you can take organic like that I'm gonna show you so if you okay so we have organic and one resin oh with one resin uh we can do uh oxygen filters oxygen filters but because uh we don't know where is compound still so we have to explore a bit to find out where is compound okay this one was the raising one now it's a bit dark there is another deposit here of raisin and these plants are not really evil but basically if you're working on it they gonna um, uh, you you're gonna jump basically I can show you that's it and you will not die but there are more plants in uh, on other planets that are more evil okay this one is really basic other plants exploding uh, other plants uh, um, just shooting uh, something I mean is really not end game but almost oh here we have clay this is clay indeed if we are using our terrain tool uh, um, the terrain tool gonna tell us which kind of material is if you don't know just have a look on the, uh, on the symbol on top or just wait uh, for the pop-up okay so but the most interesting thing about this game is the debris that is around okay so usually you can find a lot of debris on uh, every planet and every platform got different stuff on top uh, most of time it's stuff that you can basically just savages but sometimes as I I found uh, where is my base oh yeah um, you can find something that's gonna help you out like um, uh, oxygen filters batteries uh, I found uh, a small wind tur turbine uh, that helping you with um, with a bit of more power. You can attach on your backpack or on your base. It's gonna help you in, for example, if it's dark or uh, you don't have sun and you have just wind during night on Silva usually is a bit windy so can give you more power but we're gonna build uh, our solar arrays and everything to um, 
and batteries to even to use our base during night because anyway our shelter is not giving us too much power to run uh, all our tools to survive anyway uh, over there we have clay we don't need now I need compound uh, compound okay let's take some more um, resin we can do a small oxygen filter and we can go to to the forest usually in the forest you can find a lot of goods uh, this one and also compound resin and ammonium ah, okay this one if you're doing the, the tutorial is explaining you the research, uh, research sample this one you can scan straight away or you can research in the research chamber but this one you can scan that's it so you're gonna have not too many ah be careful that sometimes on the planet plants sorry uh, you can find uh, some uh, researchers and you can grab like that ah there is compound over there beautiful so i'm gonna leave this one here i'm gonna gather some compound i'm gonna scan this one look another one these are the the good one anyway uh they giving you like i think around no five or seven hundred bytes when you're researching them and now it's time for compound okay we can gather as much as we want of course we're gonna make storage so yeah oh it's just finished just one that's bad anyway uh, we can do a tether bundle instead of the canister because I wanna ah of course when you're using your printer from your backpack is using uh, a bit of power that if you are not on your base uh it's not going up i mean it's a uh, i think it's quite normal okay and now we are okay so on ps4 i'm suggesting you to put the tether bundle on the right slot because when you're walking you can just place the uh the tether with r R1 so just walking and put tether so I'm gonna take this one with me yeah so I'm gonna have a, a bit of power more and I'm gonna place tethers to go to the forest ah just be careful when you place in the the tethers if the tether is too far away is is not giving you oxygen neither power so you have to attach like that and just walk tether 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 we can go in this way okay i think it's quite good this deposit of of compound Okay, so we can make a small canister. And small generator as well. Small generator is working with um, uh, with organic. So, as you can see, converts a few resources into power. And this one is organic. I'm going to show you how to get uh, the research from the exodynamic uh, research help um, so this one is okay and this one is our small canister as you can see now the circle around uh, the arrow is white in the moment that we're gonna start to dig is filling up with a blue one that doesn't mean our capacity of canisters 
right now we have just one if we're gonna get two we're gonna have a line in the middle and each canister is half of the circle now it's full okay now we can flatter and we can add soil so i'm gonna leave this one here okay in the moment that your backpack is full of stuff basically the when you gather gathering stuff is putting on the floor basically this one is okay uh, i can do like that and take in the compound because we need compound and uh, we have even uh, slots on our terrain tool compound i'm gonna take this one i'm gonna put over there so okay now <clears throat> we have compound we have resin and we can take the resource on the pod that is here usually <laughs> at the beginning of the game the the pods to are really weak in power so you can use just one of the uh, small generator the good thing about these generators is that you can place on the floor you don't need um, any platform to let him work so just attach the cable from the generator to the exodynamics research aid so just place an organic on and usually and this one we need another one done attach organic one two three yeah finally okay so we can turn off everything I don't know, it, this one is getting a bit crazy we can put on our backpack it's taking the organic on top of the generator still so more space for us and this one is the is not the good one anyway okay even this one you can scan straight away or you can research on the research chamber anyway we're gonna take this one uh, I can take I left some of the research here so let's take one uh, and also uh, what I have here of course you can attach even a generator here and even on top of this platform I'm gonna take one with me in case of I'm gonna find some more and you can attach another one here or uh, whatever I mean even solar uh, wind turbine and this kind of stuff anyway we have raising here but we can do a small printer small printer <coughs> okay uh, compound oh yeah uh, small printer we can attach like that okay so now we have 352 bytes with a small printer we can do oxygenator that at the moment is quite useless because we have one but um, maybe we're gonna need in uh, in the future and as you can see everything is blocked basically uh like the um, all the tools that we need for uh, for power uh medium generator uh solar and etc and the thing that we can do we have already this one uh, so the thing that we can do is to build this one but to build this one we need 500 bytes and at the moment I think that is really useful if we're gonna build this one is unlocked already but we need two raisin and we can put on top a um, uh, research chamber and to make a research chamber we need two compound one resin so we have everything 
we need resin and compound so we can go ah, if you don't destroy the, the plants the researchers the, the samples one gonna respawn so don't don't destroy the environment research chamber we gonna build large platform yeah to resin and look the power going down so at this point let's use uh, one of our uh, small generator the now we have almost half of the power that we need and yeah and we can build the razor chamber like that of course we can use another one and now it's faster okay our research chamber is done okay so we can place our research chamber here if we want uh, yeah it's looking good now we have these two researches and one more over there i'm gonna grab it so if you're putting the research on the research chamber if i'm able to do it okay uh, uh, okay uh, if you check in the console this research is giving you 720 bytes in 10 minutes with uh, the viral that we have if we use in the other one i think it's around 700 as well this one is not the thousand one this one is 700 maybe you can check oh it's 1000 okay so it's 1050 bytes and in nine minutes here you have the power uh, if you start in this one right now you're gonna get 146 bytes per minute uh, and as you can see on your console this one is growing at 500 bytes so uh, the task of today is to build uh, this one the large platform that is the most uh, useful uh, platform in the game and the smelting furnace and the source centrifuge and for the rest it requires a lot of bytes for this we're gonna we're gonna fly we're gonna land on glacio that for me is the best planet uh, for uh, research uh, every every pod that you're gonna find in there is for uh, uh, seven thousand bytes or something like that, seven uh, seventy four hundred. So it's quite a lot of bytes and it's really good to unblock everything that you need. Ba buggy medium rover. Uh, but at the beginning we're gonna we're gonna unblock the tractor and the trailers so at the moment uh, usually what I was doing usually is the, to put at least two research chambers to speed up uh, the, the bytes but at the moment is okay so we can be we can unblock this one yeah and we need three raisins and three raisins I have compound. I'm gonna leave compound here. This one here. This one here. Organic as well. We need for a, a compound. Maybe I can leave one compound for tethers. This one is okay. Here. Beautiful. So, yeah. Let's go to gather some uh, resin and so we have everything that we need. We can build our first uh, 
platform me requiring three let's turn on this one recharge this one and yeah uh, the next thing that we can do is to unblock this one the smelting furnace and we need 750 bytes for the soul centrifuge really 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 uh, useful because if you cannot find any of the main resources that you can find on every planet like uh, compound resin quartz uh, clay graphite and so on uh, you can just use soil you can put inside of this machine and it's giving you the resources that you need of course you cannot take all of them i mean uh, there are quite a lot of resources that you can find around but it's just the the main resources here i told you like compound racing uh, like so I, i'm gonna build it so uh you're gonna see it uh we finished power here okay so the smelting furnace we need one compound to raising compound we have and we need raising let's go to take some raising smelting furnace okay one compound to raising i think that i have everything in my backpack yes so i can move this one just a bit here and oh small medium and smelting furnace the thing that we can do is storages medium storage is already unblocked so we need just two raisin so let's go for raisin i have just oh, i have two okay so is in the small one uh, medium storage uh, usually I'm not keeping the storages like that but de uh, deployed uh, like that so our smelting furnace is okay and uh, we can move this stuff in the other side maybe let's see uh yeah we have oh no not this one at the platform we can move this platform here it's okay and attach it beautiful okay so we can put this stuff here voila this one okay and the next one is supposed to be the soil centrifuge okay we can unblock it we need two compounds and one aluminium okay so for aluminium aluminium i think uh we need to go for laterite okay laterite this one no okay if around your base you don't have any uh look 720 if you don't have any cave you can make one by yourself so to make a cave i suggest you to stay really close to your base because anyway you want to expand i mean we can do it even now so because we don't have a uh, true flat steel the only thing that you can do is to go to the this gray area that basically you cannot dig on and you can take uh the flat from this one and just spread to make flat your base and to put more stuff and to expand your base and everything yeah actually it's quite good around here anyway i don't have to to flood a lot but anyway so the thing that we can do we can dig here and go yeah why not we can go down 
down the mountain and I think that we're gonna find some laterite I'm gonna show you how to get aluminum and after this is centrifuge we're gonna end this episode so the the thing about digging is really not well explained so anyway you have to find a good spot and just start to dig like that after to make a ramp you have to do the same but with the flattener and you're gonna make a ramp down the down the the first level of the cave if we are lucky we're gonna find laterite oh, i think this is okay like that okay so as you can see it's not really uh yeah uh, 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 uh. Oh, okay so we can go mm, i think it's too yeah look it's not easy with the with the controller mm. With a, with a mouse everything is more easy but with the controller it's a bit tricky like that that maybe let's go okay we're going down yes okay so just let's do a bit of okay shape here and now we can go down of course the, the camera is horrible we can make a good entrance like that but if we can make a ramp to go down with a flattener this one so we can go down and if we are lucky we're gonna pop in in one of the cave system that Basically, in every planet is working like that. There are uh, different levels, and the first level, uh, usually in uh, on silver, you can find quartz and laterite. And yeah, of course, uh, even resin and compound, of course. So let's. I'm dying. Okay, so. To go down, let's make tethers, tether bundle, another one, okay, so we can go down, be careful when you're sliding, oh no, maybe we cannot go down a lot. Mm. Uh, let's try because I don't wanna let's see if we're gonna find a cave straight away because this uh, this soil oh yeah there's a hole so, uh, um, maybe uh, let's try so where are the sparks Basically, you need a, uh, an upgrade for your terrain tool that I don't have right now. But oh, oxygen. Uh, let's place tethers. Okay, in the cave you can find flora that is more or less dangerous. For example, this one, if you're digging next to them, usually it is exploding. But if you're leaving them alone, nothing happens. I mean, it's okay. Oh, okay. I don't have tethers. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, no. Where is? Oh, yeah. More tethers. Tethers. And we are lucky because I can see laterite over there. Oh no, sorry, we were lucky. Oh, I'm gonna show you. 
a ladder right down there as well yeah so um oh no 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 more more distance okay it's exploding exploding usually they dropping uh seeds or uh you can scan the seeds you can uh you can scan the research from the from the seeds if i if i'm able to pop out this one maybe oh no oh yeah okay so look look this one it's just sample i can scan it 25 bytes i saw ladder right down there we're gonna survive and that's it ladder right so just dig and collect resources so we have our ladder right and we can smelt it in aluminum oh not you you two three four Okay, so let's turn on this one. Uh, as you can hear, no sound is coming from the furnace. It's a bug that didn't fix yet. But you can take the furnace, you can put it back, and it's starting the, the sound again. Let's put this one on our research chamber. We're gonna do a bit of... And that's it. Uh, okay, so when we're gonna get al aluminum, we're gonna build our soil centrifuge with two compounds. I have already one, two. Okay, so because of the power that is not really amazing right now, I'm gonna turn off the this the furnace and I'm gonna I have to build another platform uh, with this one three racing I'm gonna gather some resin more um, okay so this one large platform <coughs> we don't have power so we can untouch this one to have more power because there is no no way to to stop the research so just i'm just uh powering off uh with the cable soil centrifuge okay uh we can build uh even storages for this one and we need two racing okay this one is is done and we can move the platform next to our smelting furnace we can power it and voila so for today is everything we built the our small base we can attach this one again uh, with a research chamber smelting furnace and the soil centrifuge so in the next episode i'm gonna i'm gonna build uh, our tractor uh, with a small printer so we're gonna gather more uh, uh, more research samples. I'm gonna try to find more of the exodynamic uh, research aid. I'm gonna try to have a look around because we didn't explore anything basically. But with this, uh, with the soil centrifuge, we're gonna solve a lot of problems. So on the next episode, bye. <laughs>